Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories. And in this episode, I'm going to show you the Geek On Ultimate Gaming Backpack, which I backed on Kickstarter. It's a huge backpack, as you can see, it came in several colors as well. It has several compartments and you can even expand the main compartment to be bigger to hold more of your games. They also had some rubber bands to close your games and a dice tray and dice uh, holding pocket. <laughs> So I'm going to show all of this to you and uh, yeah, tell you what I think about it. Okay, let's get started. So the Geek On Ultimate Gaming Backpack. As you can see, it's pretty big. I'll start at the back. So it has these two big shoulder straps. It has a little uh, clippy here. So you can clip this across your chest. It's uh, elastic and uh, it's adjustable as well as are these traps themselves. You can adjust them here and it's all very nicely made. This is very um, strong material and it has a little uh, rubber band here as well that keeps these uh, loose ends nice in place so you don't have those flapping around everywhere. Uh, there's uh, holes here in the mesh and in the soft fabric, the padding inside, so that will allow for ventilation uh, if you're hot and uh, you know, you're sweating carrying the big bag of games around at a busy games convention, then you know, you'll know you have um, lots of ventilation here. Also these padded uh, pockets on the back that will sit comfortably on your back are also uh, mesh. So uh, that's all very comfortable and soft. And that will fit nicely onto your bag. It has a couple of reflective straps here. So you know if you're carrying this in the dark, you still have some reflectors here. And there is a little pocket here that will hold a pen, I think. You can put a pen inside. And there's a little zipper here. And there's a small pocket there that has a ring. And I just put this uh, carabiner hook on it here that I also got uh, with the Kickstarter. It's a carabiner hook and a bottle cap opener. And it has this six-sided hole inside that you can use to screw certain you know, nuts and bolts together if you need to. So I just put that on here and you can put that inside. You can put some small change or whatever, some pocket money in there as well. Then on the sides, uh, there are some extra pockets here. There's two and you can open these sideways. You can put some card games in here and they have these straps here as well and they are adjustable and you can clip them open so you can put uh, if there's something bigger you want to put in here you just zip this up and it will stick out here and this will just hold it and uh, well the, the bottom one has the same clip here and it has also the zipper and all the zippers are covered by a, a kind of plastic cover so it's uh, watertight and here is this a soft cushioned uh, bottle holder so you can put a bottle in there as well or you can just fold it together and put a small card game or whatever smaller box in there as well so there's plenty of options and of course the other side of the bag has the same two pockets so that's very nice you've got plenty of room on the sides of the backpack the top of the backpack features a small pocket here as well that can hold your sunglasses or your, your spare glasses whatever so you can put it in there and there are some straps in here some elastic bands so you can put stuff underneath here so it won't fall out and the top of this is reinforced a bit so you know if you put glasses in here they won't be immediately crushed you really have to press hard to uh, to push this together so that's nice and padded and it will protect your sunglasses. And it's also uh, watertight. So all the compartments here have this plastic covering over the zippers. That's really nice. And the fabric itself is also uh, waterproof. Uh, so if you're carrying this in pouring rain, your games will be safe. Then the uh, top compartment is also very nice. It's a big compartment. You can fold it open like that. 
and as you can see it has uh, plenty of room for you know mediocre sized games medium sized games it has a little pocket in here and I'll just try to show that to you that's a little pocket you can put something in there some loose items that might slide around and you can just with this velcro strip make that shut and there are two strips in here as well I don't know if you can see but here you can see this rubber band and there's two of them uh, crossing each other and it actually holds the dice tray nicely you can put it under there or some games of course so that's a nice top compartment and in the top of the top compartment there are more velcro sealed compartments with mesh and uh, as you can see I hope you can see that uh, that will be able to hold some smaller games as well so you can put card games in there and just have them hanging from the ceiling and the bottom of this compartment is also velcroed to the back so you could just rip that out I'll just do a bit but it's, it's rather tight but if you rip that out and fold it down then the main compartment will be you know uh, larger it will be just one big compartment okay so the main compartment here I'll just zip this up a bit has a front compartment first which is also very nice so you have this and this is just an extra layer so you can put books in there you know your your role-playing uh, rule books or whatever kind of books your rule books and uh, there's plenty of room here I mean it, it's it's really nice and uh, you can put lots of stuff in there maybe even game mats or whatever you want to bring to your game night it has a little uh, elastic band here so you can put two pens in here as well so they thought of everything it's really really cool I really love all the stuff that's in this bag and then the main compartment here is really big of course the main compartment of the the bag it has as you can see I'll just hold this up a bit so it has compartments with mesh over here in the the lid in the front you can zip those open you can put some stuff in here in here there's a rubber band and elastic here as well and another compartment in here so it has three pockets to hold stuff and then the main compartment you can just push this in the back so this is basically the main compartment and it's already pretty big I think you can fit a large game in there I'll show you a couple later but what you also can do is make it bigger so there's a little velcro strip here that holds this and this is a bottom that will reinforce your bag if you make it bigger so let me show you that first and the sides the padded sides of the bag over here can also be um, undone by uh, pulling off the velcro because it was when I got it it was you know compact it even more than this and I had to kind of put it together so uh, that's also quite nice so if you want to store it for a longer time you can actually just compact it even more make it thinner than than this so okay let's make it bigger let me see where the zipper is I think it's on this side somewhere no it's on the top it goes all the way around so it's in between these two uh, compartments there's a slot here and the zipper is hidden over there so the zipper goes all the way around like that there you go and as you can see they did it like this so the zipper is nice and hidden underneath uh, the zipper itself when it comes back and this is all uh, cloth so it will stay nice and watertight so then as you can see you can pull this out and make your bag a lot bigger as you can see so now it's almost twice as deep and all the sides are padded there's some uh, harder material in here so the sides are solid and then you pull out that inner um, reinforcement so your the bottom won't sag now this is of course uh, not super strong it's it's I think there's some kind of cardboard in here but it's a lot more than just the inner because um, this is 
just cloth. And this will help make the entire case more solid and sturdy. So let's put in a couple of games. Okay, so I just grabbed a couple of games from my shelves. I took three really big boxes. I'm sure you know the uh, Dungeons and Dragons games. They're pretty big boxes. And I managed to fit three of these in here quite easily. And they just you can stack them on top of each other. I grabbed Clean Kingdoms and Hero Realms, put them all in here. I tried to fit Hero Realms into one of the side pockets because the shape was the same, but it just didn't fit. I just couldn't get the zipper to close around the box. So I think it's a bit too, too thick, uh, the box, to fit in here. Had it been a bit thinner, I probably, probably would have been able to fit it in there. So that's roughly the shape of the maximum size of boxes that you can fi uh, fit in the sides. So let's uh, close it up. So you just take the zipper and it still easily and comfortably just closes like this and then the top compartment like that. That's it. It just all fits in here. And now, of course, it's super heavy. So I don't know if I want to actually pick this up, but well, actually that's okay. But you know, three big games in your backpack and then you just uh, unclip this. I can put that on my back like so and just put the second one as well. Let's see, I don't have a lot of space in here to maneuver, but I can manage. So as you can see, let me just show that to you. It fits nicely onto my back. I can just take this clip over here and clip it like so. Click onto my chest and now hands-free, I can easily just carry this around and it's actually quite quite comfortable on my back the pads really you know they they sit comfortably against your back in the middle there's there's an opening for basically for your spine so even if you move around like this it's very comfortable so yeah this is a very very good way to carry around lots of big games so on conventions I'll definitely be bringing this. <laughs> so I hear you thinking, that's all nice and well, but will it fit Gloomhaven? Well, as you can see, I've collapsed the bag back again into its original state, the non-expanded version. And yes, it does actually contain Gloomhaven fully, just like that, in its non-expanded form. It's full, obviously. You could still fit in some stuff in the, in the lid, I'm sure. But that fits in here really comfortably and easily. Not that I would recommend carrying Gloomhaven over, uh, you know, uh, around the place on your back because this single box weighed more than the three boxes I just showed you from the Dungeons & Dragons line. So, but it does indeed fit into this bag. Let me also show you the dice tray and the rubber bands. So Geekon also has these big uh, rubber bands, these elastics, I should say, and they have a bigger version here that uh, stretches really nicely. And they have smaller versions. And I got a pack with five of each. And uh, I just had some examples. So I took a smaller box like this one. And how you do it, you just take this and you put it over your hand, you grab the box and you pull one of them over the box and there's three already in place and you take the last one and that's it. You're done. It's very simple. And then if you have bigger boxes such as uh, brass here, that's a big, big huge box. That'll also fit. Just take one of the bigger ones, take that in your hand Pull this over here, like so, you got three in place, you take the bottom one, and it's done. So that holds everything nicely into place, as you can see. So that works. I had some other games that I tried. So here is one, a slightly bigger box, but that's also the same small rubber band. Uh, here's 
a medium sized box with uh, one of the bigger ones and here another huge box which is taller than the other ones and it has also one of the bigger ones they all do have this relatively big uh, logo on them this is rubber and uh, so you know it's for traveling purposes only because if you're going to stack them your stack is going to be wobbly and it, this is going to press into the backs of your your cardboard boxes so i wouldn't recommend using this uh, in storage unless you've got plenty of space but uh, for traveling this is ideal let me show you the dice tray okay so this is one of the dice trays they had they also came in different colors i picked the red one because the bag was also black and red so they have this and the dice tray just goes underneath like this this just fits nice and snugly it has a felt nice and soft inside with the logo and you can just plop that on the table and use that as a dice tray and this dice box has a zipper you just zip it open like that and it has a foam top here so the foam topper and that goes into the lid and it will hold your dice nicely into place and i just put some random dice that i happened to had in there and i'll just take those put them in the dice tray and as you can see the bottom is another uh, foam layer with uh, these holes in it and the bottom of the, uh, the box is a thicker kind of foam that just sits in the box i, I don't want to take that out I don't know if it's glued to the bottom or not maybe well it's kind of hard to get a hold of but uh, you know, I actually I, I'm not sure I'm just gonna leave it in there but even you know if you would take out this and this as well then you'd have a nice storage for whatever you, you know you could put some other stuff in here you could put a whole lot of dice in here without the foam as well you know like that because you know a lot will fit in there and you could actually use the the thing itself as a, as a dice tray you know just roll your dice in the in the top so uh you know that works as well it's, it's just a fun thing to have and uh it's very sturdy material as well so the quality of this is really good and has a nice zipper with the geek on logo on it as well so yeah, that's the uh, the dice tray and dice holder. And yeah, you can just use this and put as many dice in there if you want, or just toss them in. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. And so that was my review of the Geek On Ultimate Gaming Backpack and Accessories. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven. <laughs>